I believe this is the greatest garden hack you can have. You can do corners, you could do tomato steaks, you could do rings, you can do trellising, you could do water fountains. Let's just get into it. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. And today I am going to talk about black irrigation tubing. I am crazy about it. You're going to see it all over my garden and I bet you by next year, all of you are gonna be using it. There it is there, here it is there. I'm going to have it everywhere. I use it in the garden. I even use it for making solar fountains at times. Let me go over some of the facts about it so you won't make the same mistake that I made. Here is a hundred feet of this black tubing. This is used for watering, of course. They hook it up, they've got all their valves, and you can have your watering systems all through your garden with it. A lot of you use it if you're using grow bags because that's pretty much the only way you can grow in grow bags because it dries out so bad. But when you have irrigation tubing in there and a system for watering, you're perfectly fine. So you'll know what this is. Me, I really wasn't that familiar with it, but I knew exactly what it was. So the first one, when I started thinking about it, because I thought, wow, I think I have a use for this. I went and bought it at Walmart. Now it was funny because I bought a couple rolls. One roll was nine, another one was 12, and they were 50 feet. Now this is 100 feet. You can get this at Home Depot for the same price, about 10 to 12 bucks at 100 feet. But I also found out that for $35, you can get 500 feet. And that was pretty good. So do shop around. There's different companies and I'm looking at them and they all pretty much look the same. So what you're getting is this black tubing that is going to change your life in the garden. Now why? First of all, look at this 100 foot and I'll show you the other one later, the, the heavier one. Look how light this is. One-handed, 100 feet. You can carry this around the garden. You slowly unroll it, and all you need to do anything with is a scissors, a plain old scissors. Now, I would say the tools you would need if you're really going to get serious with this would be a scissors, a soldering iron, and if you want, some masking tape. This is painter's tape. I like the green better. The green seems to last in the garden for two years. The plain masking tape, the brown, lasts about a year. So I go with the green. Okay, now, you can use this for everything. I'm going to walk around and show you. Remember the corners that I used to make out of, well, here they are. And I have to roll them out with the fabric and, and then aluminum foil and everything and then put them on. And they're great. Well, I'm not making that anymore. That's ridiculous. This, I cut a piece and I put it on. And if it seems like it's gonna pop, because you know, this comes right off, but if you think it's gonna pop, put a little masking tape and then it is secure. Here, I put the corners one, two, three up with tomato steaks. Now, if you want to bring a leader across, let's say you have a long stake and you can use, by the way, plain old sticks if you've got sticks or bamboo. I took another piece, let's move this over for a minute. And I cut a small piece here, see right here, and I, with my soldering iron, I made a hole right there. Now I can bring the tomato steak through there on another one over to there. Now I've got a long leader that's gonna hold up my tomatoes or anything I want. Did the same thing here with my watermelon. Made my corners out, all you have to do is bend them. You just bend the corners. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna slip it on and then you're gonna bend it. Just bend it there and stick in the stake that's gonna to go to the other side. You do both sides. Now here I made an extra hole. See the hole there? That brought in this tomato stake that goes through this one. So what you're gonna do is just make a hole and then still bend it and it goes to that one. Now I've got an entire trellis and let me tell you something, it's so fast and so easy. Like I said, all you need is the scissors. Now, if you don't have a soldering iron, I have actually cut these holes with the scissors. Just kind of bent it and just cut and made a hole. And you have to make it on both sides of the tubing. 
ask me questions on this so I can do a real detailed video, which I have another video. I'll put the link to the other video on how I did this on my deck garden. Now here I needed a quick fix because I planted a tomato plant. These are the 100s and a squash plant came up too. And it was like such a mess with the tomato plant falling everywhere. I never expected it to get that big with the two of them growing. So see what I did here? This, look at this. I hope you can see this. I've got a stake there. Now I took a piece of tubing. We'll go on the other side so you can see it. And I just took a piece of tubing and I curved it. All I did was curve it. I made a hole. I put, put it through the tomato stake and then I have another piece on top. Like I said, this is a puzzle. You're gonna make it and build it for your garden, your container garden, your, your bucket garden, your grow bag garden, anything that you need to put a quick trellis up. I mean, dive bomb by hummingbirds. See that? Is that amazing? See what I did here? Instead of doing it just straight, I curved it because the plant was so big. That, and I also tape my tomato plant to it. I use masking tape everywhere. What I did was I taped a leaf. I use a long leaf off the plant. This way it won't damage the plant. And all you're doing if the plant's not happy is sacrificing a leaf. When you put the masking tape there onto the black tubing and you hold it by this leaf, the plant is now directed up into the sunlight. Once it's directed up, there's no pressure from the plant anymore because it's being guided up. But look at this. Now let's walk over, I wanna show you something else. Now here I'm in the middle of setting up some squash getting there and I had a rabbit get in my tote because we have rabbits everywhere. All right, so what I did is I quickly put in two stakes, one on either side, and I used the tubing. It doesn't look that good. You take your time and do it quicker, but I did this at night as the sun was going down. And here I did not make a hole because I used a big fat tomato stake, so I just taped it. Just to hold it, even though it did hold on its own, and as you can see, I just slipped it on to the tomato stake and I curved it and slipped it onto that one. Now, in a matter of five minutes, I had the tool. I mean, the here's the tool there. It's still on the board. See that? I quickly put it up the other day to keep the rabbits out and it did the trick because the rabbits don't like the tool and I had that now. Now, now I can lower it, I can change it. I can do whatever I want, but if you've got an issue and you need to take care of it now, that is one way to do it. It's quick. Here. I found this single watermelon plant that's taken off. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because I've got my corn growing there and I really don't want it in the corn right now. I want that to take off. So here I put two tomato sticks, one there and one there, see? And then here I curved some more of the black irrigation tubing. Now I put a hole here, but I didn't go all the way through. I could have, but I didn't. Now this stick, that is going into the tote there, is holding everything secure so I can now string up my watermelon plant. Here is the tomato plant that's going on to two years old. It's last year's plant. It decided to spread along and I kind of opened it up a little bit so if there's any more hornworms in there, I found a teeny one the other day, the birds can get in there. I'm gonna put a few more sticks and stakes in there so the birds can land on it because of the trichomes on the tomato plant itself. Birds do not like to land on tomato plants because they get sticky and they can't wash it off. But I decided since I didn't get to this tote yet that I would go ahead and make a quick trellis. Literally had this thing done in seconds. Walked over, cut a piece, no soldering iron, no nothing. Had a stick there, a tomato stick, and see how it's just like that. Now I am trellising up and saving my tomato plant. Let's walk over to my chair garden. You probably saw this last month when I put this video up. I am so crazy about this. I've got carrots growing on the bottom. I've got too much in this tote, but that's okay. Look how loaded it is with tomatoes. But look at this. See how I made the hole with the soldering iron? Right here is the hole. Now I just slip that down wherever I want it to be put one on the other side. I mean, this is so versatile. You can make a trellis any way you want. You can carry it. You don't need big tools. You can throw it in your car. You can order it online and then you just go for it. Now I've got to make a trellis for this watermelon plant that is here. 
here is the original one again that I showed you last month. See, there's the, the sticks I, I used to make the, the ends, the corners. I'm not gonna do that anymore. This is literally, I cut this five seconds. I have a piece cut. Now, because it's under pressure from there to there, I don't have to tape this one. I can move it, I can pull it out, I can change it. But I could put some masking tape if I want. This is holding up beautiful. This has held up really, really good. See the difference? This is zip tied on or taped on. It really is hard to change it around if I wanted to change it. This one can be changed in a second. If I wanted to bring the steak out, let's say in the next tote, I could just move the steak and add on a connector. You can make these as connectors. You can put on a whole tube and make your tomato steaks extended. In other words, they're extensions. You can use it in any fashion you want. Let's go back to the table and talk about this one more time because this is just, this is a life changer between tool and this, and I absolutely love it. And before we get back to the table, look at this. Two seconds, two tomato steaks there, and I just bend it, a little gentle bend. And let me tell you something, this stuff is designed for outside. It's gonna last you for years. And if you're in an area where you take your garden apart for the winter and come back in the spring and rebuild it, it's like Legos. It's like those Lincoln logs. You are going to start over and make it what will work for your garden that is growing at that time. Okay, let's go back. So I brought it out so you can see it. It's actually 500 feet. It cost me $35. I had it delivered for free. So let's sit down for a minute. Take a look at it so you'll know what it is. Check the prices because sometimes when you get a little roll, you're actually not getting that much. Like I said, I got, I think it was 50 feet actually for $12. And then I found that you can get for $12, a hundred feet, which I bought from Home Depot which was fine. And then I found that you can get 500 feet for $35. Now, of course, this is a big roll and you may not need that much, but I have big, big plans for it. Whether I'm using a little piece or using a very long piece to make a long trellis or something to hold tool up or hold my plants up, whatever I'm gonna do with it, it is so cheap. And then you just take it apart and in the winter, you put it wherever you want, throw it to the corner of your yard, forget about it, and then come spring, you are ready. This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. Now, if you get any kinked pieces, like this one is really kinked, use that for your corners. I keep this one on to, you know, off to the side. It's the last piece, and when I need a corner, see how easy it bends? You can bend it or you can make it round shape. This one's already got a bend. So instead of me putting it out in the sun and letting it slowly kind of go back, which it might, but it's already bent, I don't need to worry about it because this is going to hold tubing perfectly. So I hope I am giving you thoughts and ideas on how to do this on the cheap. The steaks you can sometimes get at the dollar stores. A lot of times they have a two pack for a dollar. Keep, you know, keep a lookout in the spring for that. But if you've got sticks, you can use sticks, anything you want. And if you don't have that many sticks, go ahead and use this whole thing as is with just something simple poked into your containers. If you've got smaller containers, you can probably use, if you can find plastic chopsticks or something like that, look around, be creative, think out of the box. But this is going to be a game changer in the garden because it's cheap and you can do it in the fashion of which you need to design for your garden. This one, I hooped it around like a hula hoop, as you saw back there. Instead of bringing it straight, which I could have, I gave the plant more room to grow by letting it bulge. See how it's bulged? And the plant can now grow. Here too, I may put a stick here and something there and then bulge this out. Right now it's doing fine. And here with the watermelon, I just needed corners and extra little holders to hold extra tubing, see, by putting the holes in it. Look at it, analyze it, use it the way it will work for you and you're gonna be excited. Let me tell you something, this is gonna make you wanna garden more. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Check the prices and keep in mind, a lot of them do have free shipping.
and this was free shipping when I ordered it from Home Depot. And that is a lot of tubing that's gonna last me for a very long time. And anybody can do it at any age, considering you don't even need a soldering iron. You can just use the scissors. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Oh, I so love this. So what do I like better, tool? I don't know, because I like my yarn and masking tape. I like it all. And this is one-handed. Now you just make your hoops. And you can make the hoops the size you want for your plants. And remember, you can still put holes in this and still use this with the stakes or the other tubing any way you want. That's all you have to do to make hoops.